Hi everyone, Paolo here. Welcome to the channel where I make how to videos. Time to share what I've learned and I'm back with another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is part of the character animation how to series. In the next series of videos, I'll be covering blend nodes, which are animation nodes that blends animation together based on a set of criteria. In this video, we're going to learn how to use the blend poses by bull to play an animation between a character pose with a weapon and without a weapon. For this tutorial, I'm using the animation starter pack from the marketplace. You can go ahead and grab this out. This particular animation has the character holding a gun pose. So that's what we're going to use. So here I have a third person template. I already have the animation starter pack uh, added to my project here. So new on UE 5.4 is the automatic retargeting. So if I select any animation sequence here, I could right click and select retarget animations. And it would show this um, prompt. You need to select the target skeleton. So the target skeleton is the SKM Manny Simple. And all the animation assets here. Just going to select everything except the animation blueprint. The export animation going inside the mannequins folder. Their animations. Going to create a new folder called starter pack. And I'm going to give it a prefix of UE5 so I know all this uh, UE5 animations. Cool. And it's going to, we can close this out and it's going to create all these assets for us. So I'm going to go ahead and save all. And let's open one to check. So we have all the animations um, retargeted to the UE5 character. Um, this is the one that we're going to start to use the blend by bull. So this is the character holding a gun jogging. And there's also the idol holding a piston, maybe the rifle, this one. So UE idol rifle hip. So we're going to use these two animations and blend them together. So if I jump here and this is our Manny Quinn character, we need to replace her with the Manny Simple. So we want that when she's idle or when she's running, when she's equipped, we're going to transition to the character pose where it's holding a gun. So let me jump to the third person character here. Open the third, BB third person blueprint. Just go to the viewport. We'll swap Quinn with Manny and also use the ABP Manny. So I'm just going to compile, save. So to get this going, first let's go to the event graph and down here at the bottom, I'm going to create a new variable. I'm just going to call this uh, equip with a question mark. It's boolean and I'm going to set it to the keyboard event T. So when the T key is pressed, I'm just going to do a flip-flop. And we're going to set the value to true. When you hit it again, we're going to set it to false. And we also want this value to be uh, instance editable. File, save. All right. So now let's jump into the animation blueprint for Manny. And let's go to the anim graph. Let's do first the locomotion. So on the locomotion idle here, we have MM idle. So if we grab the MM, grab the idle called rifle hip, if you drag it here, what we want to do is, because if I disconnect this and just connect this and compile, that is the animation when it's uh, idle, it's holding a rifle. So we want to blend the two together if the criteria is equipped or not equipped. So first, let's go to the event graph here and let's add a pin down here at the bottom. And we want to create, grab the player character. So under the reference here, we have the character. I'm going to get that. 
We're gonna cast that to the BP third person character. And we should get the get uh, equip boolean we created. And when we're gonna uh, promote this to a variable called equip. And then set. And basically just hook this up like so. Maybe create a reroute node here so it looks a little bit prettier. Save. And now you could go back to the anim graph here. And we should be able to grab that equip. So here we're going to do the blend by bool. So when the value is true, the true pose would be this one. When it's false, it's going to be the idle. And then you could connect that to the output pose. And compile. And let's go test it out. So here, when I hit the T key, the character would transition to holding a gun to without, and not holding a gun. If you could see, the movement is um, pretty quick. So you could adjust those movements. So if I go back to the animation blueprint here, you could see from true blend, uh, this is the start when it becomes true. How fast do you, you want the time? So we could say 0.2. And the same thing when, um, when it goes to false, how fast the transition is. So 0.2. You could also change the uh, configuration for the blend type here from linear. You could make it um, cubic which is ramped up, slow down, and let's try that out, and T, and much, a little bit better, could still use a little bit of improvement there, and that's the first one, so the next one though, if I go run, the character is not holding a gun, so we want it to be holding a gun, so to do that, let's go back to the animation graph here, um, go to the walk run event here. So right now it's using this BS MM walk run. So we want it to use the blend space, which is the jog. This jog. So basically we do the same. We grab the equip. We do the blend by bull. If it's true, this is the pose. If it's false, this is the pose. And then we connect it like so. Compile, save. And let's do that again. So if we do the T, and now when it's running, it's running with a gun. And let's try transitioning while it's running. It will remove it, run it, remove it. Cool. There you go, how to use the blend by bull to transitions between two animations. Hope you like this tip, thumbs up, thumbs down. Please subscribe to the channel. Cheers, bye for now.